The worst terrorist attack in France for more than 40 years. At least 12 people were killed when gunmen stormed the offices of a satirical newspaper in Paris. Armed with Kalashnikovs, they shouted Islamic slogans as they massacred journalists, cartoonists and Charlie Hebdo's chief editor. They also killed two policemen before escaping in a stolen car. I just got a glimpse. I saw people on the roof just across who were filming. Then I saw a Citroën C3 driving up, a new car. It didn't look like a terrorist car, but then the car stopped just across from where we were and two guys with black masks got out and fired with the Kalashnikov at an unknown target. Charlie Hebdo has sparked anger in the past among Muslims for publishing controversial caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad. It was firebombed in 2011 and received constant threats. But with police protection, the weekly continued in its irreverent tone to defend freedom of expression. President Francois Hollande called the attack on the newspaper an attack on French values. We are being threatened because we are a country of freedom. And because we are a country of freedom, we are fighting against these threats and we will punish the aggressors. Among those killed, Charlie Hebdo's chief editor Stéphane Charbonnier, known as Sharb, and cartoonists known as Kabu, Tinu and Walinsky. World leaders, as well as those who knew them personally, joined a chorus of voices condemning the massacre. You know, I had tears in my eyes when I heard about this. Tears, disgust, indignation, revolt. And I hope that this revolt will be a popular and national revolt. The attack took place at a time of heightened fears in France and in other European capitals over the fallout from the wars in Iraq and Syria. Paris remains on its highest possible alert and the search continues for the gunmen who've shocked the nation and the world.